Welcome to today's recap video. Ta-da! That's Kelly Raspberry. Hello. I'm JC Chavez. And we are with the Yay Networks. Even though it looks like yeah? Yeah. Yay. Did you know yay. that's how you spell yay? Well, yay as far as, yeah. There's there's more than one way to yeah, spell yay. Yeah, there's plenty of ways. That's one of the ways. I'm a fan of Y-A-Y, -Y, but. Yeah, that's I like that too. Yay. So here we are. We're going to tell you what you missed on Monday's episode of the Kid Craddock Morning Show in case you weren't able to tune in. Early edition of Love Letters to Kelly for all those people that say, hey, I go to work really early and I always miss it on Wednesdays or on Mondays because you do it so late. Get Surprise. First thing out of the gate this morning. Yeah. Trying to help people solve their love problems. You could agree with me or disagree with me. A lot of people were on board with me this a morning. A lot of people agreed advice. with Kelly. See, I'm on the opposite side. It was this lady who had an affair with a guy a few years ago, a co-worker. They broke it off, but she told her husband she's divorced now. And remarried. Remarried. And happily so. But she can't get over the fact that the other guy is still married to the ex, or to the wife that was ha she was having the affair. And wants to go tell her. And Kelly says, no. Yeah. What's the point? No. I would like to know if I was a wife, but we got a lot of text messages. But you're messages. not. What if you were the husband? I wouldn't want. I would want to know too. But you I know think. that's going to end your marriage, right? Exactly. I think. Okay. I, you say that now, and then when it actually happens, you don't know. But know. a lot of people had your back, including people that actually went through this. Been through that, yeah. It's better to have never known, as, as long as the person is remorseful and is moving forward and not right. continuing the cheating. That's why she's the love. So expert. anyway, I mean, you know, that's just what I would do. Yeah. I mean, I haven't like held it up to the Bible to make sure that I'm <laughs> actually right on that, but I don't know. No, but I think you're right on that. You better not to break up a, another person's life if yeah. you can control it. Yeah, we talked a little bit about um, our weekend. Mm -hmm. We went down to Houston for a very yeah. unfortunate, sad event, your aunt's funeral. Yeah, my, my aunt on my wife's side, uh, she passed away from cancer. And I, when I tell her I looked up to this woman, I looked up to her. I even joke about uh, I married my wife, Kinsey, because she has her genes, like her actual genes. She was a basketball player, really good. And so she passed away, and we had a really, really cool funeral. My son spoke. Yeah? Yeah, he said... At the uh, funeral? Yeah, her, the youngest brother, his name's Ricky, Uncle Ricky, uh, was a little, you could tell he was nervous, and so he asked Kaysen if he'd get up there and say the first sentence of his speech, and Kaysen oh. got up there like a champion and said, welcome to Bonnie's service. Aww. And then he stayed up there with Uncle Ricky while he spoke, and every time he was tearing up, he'd look down at Kaysen and go, you okay? And Kaysen's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I here again? What am I here? That was really sweet, and your embarrassing encounter with the teenage girls yeah. at the restaurant was pretty funny. Yeah, I thought they were talking to me. They, they were looking directly at me. I didn't know that this really tall, good-looking high school guy with a crazy chest tattoo was behind <laughs> me. And I thought they were talking about me and my dinky little Roman numeral five it's tattoo. It's still cool. It, it's cool to me. I mean, I like it. I was really embarrassed. My wife laughed at me, which was fun. So tomorrow's the big Halloween episode of the Kate Craddock Morning Show. Will we dress up? Will we not? I'm leaning toward the ladder. <laughs> I don't think I have a costume. You know what? I think I'm finally rubbing, rubbing off on my husband a little bit, who is so into dressing up and stuff. We were invited to two Halloween parties this weekend, and we went to zero. You didn't go to any of them? No. He was just like, I'm really not feeling dressing up. I'm rubbing off on him in the wrong way. I had so much FOMO because I was looking at everybody's pictures. Like, Jenna went out with Justin, and... Apparently Justin turned straight. Oh my gosh, we talked <laughs> about that this morning too. You need to go back and listen to what you missed. The K-Pod. The K-Pod. Yeah, because yeah, Justin... Uh, he partied drinks. hard. He was really into Jenna this weekend for some... Yeah, and another yeah. girl on the show, Anna, too. So, yeah. kind of strange. Yeah. So you guys didn't go to any uh, No, parties? nothing. We had just he and I all weekend because we didn't have the kids. So we ran errands and... Ate too much, drank some Bloody Marias. You had another one? I had two more this weekend. That's a, got, what is that, a Mar uh, Bloody Mary but with tequila? Tequila instead of vodka. I've, I've always loved the ideas of Bloody Marys because they look so fun with the bacon and all the fun stuff they put in them. But I don't really like tomato juice. I can only drink about that much with yeah. the vodka. But I try it with tequila. Perfect. And I can drink the whole thing and I love it. I'll try and it. I, I ordered one from the restaurant we went to and he didn't know what I was talking about. And I explained you just substitute tequila for vodka. Like a champion. Bloody Maria. And then our boy Big Al Mac is, I think, officially all the way moved into his new house. He's going from from the apartment to a house that he's renting, and he was moving at like one in the morning this morning. Yeah, week. I couldn't sleep. Because he went to, to bed too early. How about that World Series Kelly's into? I actually, my husband fell asleep and I sat up and watched it. It's so good. That's why I'm kind of a little draggy today, but it was really a fun, exciting game. I keep seeing all these posts on Instagram, where everybody's saying, hey, I hate baseball, I'm not really into baseball, I haven't been into baseball. Same way, same. And everybody's into it, because it's such an exciting World Series. It was just run for run, it was so fun to watch, and I can't wait, uh, what, the next game's Halloween night. Yeah, tomorrow. 
So hopefully the kids are trick treating. We'll kick them out early so we can watch the game. Hopefully Houston wins and it's over. Or we Amen. can have a game seven and maybe be more exciting. No, I'd rather Houston just wrap it up. And I messed up my Sunday night viewing on Fox. No family guy. Huh. <laughs> but tomorrow we got Halsey on the show. Jenna got to talk to her at her concert backstage, so we'll we'll see how that went down. Apparently, she talks about her boyfriend, uh, G Easy. G Easy. Yeah, and uh, about bathroom stuff. Bathroom stuff. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like she she actually opened up quite a bit to Jenna apparently about what they do together and stuff. So check out that interview with Halsey tomorrow. <laughs> but she asked her if she leaves the door open. She oh, that's just okay. Yeah, she and, and Halsey answered it actually. Which most celebrities don't. That's why we like Halsey. Have a strange feeling we'll be talking about the same after that. Yeah. And does that make me crazy? Also happening tomorrow. So make sure you get those in to us so we can read them on the show. And we'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early.